when we studied the photoluminescence in these metal halide perovskites initially, we found that they are very bright materials and that also the luminescence overlaps quite a lot with the absorption edge of these materials. And so with this combination of, of factors, you could try and see this photon recycling effects where you generate charged pairs by absorbing um, a photon in the material. Um, and then the recombination of this charged pair generates another photon in the material that um, doesn't outcouple directly, doesn't leave the material directly, but gets reabsorbed and then generates another electron hole pair. And by this sequence of processes, you get this photon recycling effect. And when we, when we try to see this together in our paper, um, we use this photoluminescence microscopy to look at the transport of charges and photons in the material. And we found that the transport occurs over length scales that are much beyond the expected length scales from just absorption. And we were really excited to see that and um, concluded that photon recycling has to happen.